Hello everyone. Uh, this is a, a Raspberry Pi project which I have been working on for a lot of time now. It's the Stream Pi, and it is basically uh, an open source replacement to the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, if you don't know what's the Elgato Stream Deck, it's a fancy multipurpose keyboard which is extremely costly if you're living in India because it's yeah it's uh, overpriced here and it's actually kind of costly so i thought of like not me actually there's this person his name is samuel i'm working on working with him on this project he's the one who actually thought of making this project and uh, then i worked with him to make this you know to make this possible so yeah i'm just going to give you a quick demo of how it works so this one is for setting obs yeah stream pi comes with full obs support you can set scenes set transition and click on a box and set transition and start stop streaming or anything you feel like so this is i'm just going to open obs 2 to show you that it works you see in obs so you can see it's a scene one and scene two so i'm just going to give you a quick demo this is scene two this has been assigned for scene two let me just show you yeah as you see it's selected at scene 2 and this one is selected as scene 1 so I'm just going to minimize it yeah so scene 2 and scene 1 now you can set multiple scenes like that as you wish so over here we have some other options as well one is the 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 the, the left one the, which is the screenshot one this one so you can just take you know a quick screenshot if you're playing video games or something instead of you know clicking on a hotkey i'm just going to show you real quick yeah so you can see it has it says screenshots save to gallery you can also use this button which is the which i have assigned it for all plus f9 it uses to record screen or stop recording screen and see so yeah this this is the folder yeah stream pi supports folders and unlike the elgato stream deck you can actually kind of you know have multiple folders without this without a back button you can just swipe from left to right to go back in the go back to the same like the previous parent layer and the stream by also supports gpio so if you want you can actually control your house appliances with the help of relays and stuff so i'm just going to give you a quick demo this led which you can see this one this one it's connected to uh, raspberry pi pin 21 uh, i'm just going to show you on the server yeah, this one. Let me show you. Yeah, it says 21 on 21. So this basically turns pin number 21 as high, which is on, and this one turns it as off. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. So yeah, with this you can have different folders with different stuff. You can turn on or off your lights. Okay. You can also I, you can you also have you know you can launch websites. I'm just going to show you. So I have already pre-configured Facebook. So if I click on Facebook, yeah, I will uh, launch Facebook. I'm just going to give you a quick run through again. I'll just show you again. Yeah, this is Facebook. It can launch. You know, uh, it has been pre-configured to launch applications. I'm just going to show you. Yeah, you can see. So yeah. It can also launch applications. I'll give you a quick demo. Yeah, so this is a parent one. Yeah, so we have Edge, Discord, Spotify, and Steam. So first, I would like to go with uh, Discord. And uh, yeah, it, it starts Discord so anyways uh, we, we can you can launch applications you can launch different stuff of stuff also you can have uh, spotify edge or steam i'm going to just go with edge also you can see edge started oh yeah the dis this discord one 
yeah, it's already over here I'm just gonna give you a quick show whether it works or not you see if I turn this off yeah it, it comes again similarly you can open steam like that I'm just going to show you how like, you can launch applications using this the launch app folder the launch app, app uh, action you see these I've already configured you can also uh, you know send tweets but for that you need a consumer key and a consumer secret key which you can get from your twitter developer account so yeah that, that has been more nicely discussed in corporal saturn's video if you want to you know look into a more you know detailed like with instructions on how you can set up stream on your computer and on your pi then you can actually uh, watch this video uh, if you enjoyed this video then you can leave a thumbs up and that's all thank you